Hello YouTube, so I am a little bit undone, haven't completed my makeup, but I wanted to do this review, this first impression of this new product that I bought two days ago at Bloomingdale's in San Francisco, um, and it is the Dior Skin Nude Hair Luminizer, and it's from the Fall 2016 collection, also known as the Skyline collection that recently came out with eyeshadow and lip products. And one of the other things was the Luminizer. This retails for $56. I paid $60 total in tax. It comes with the powder and the kabuki brush, which I could do without. So this is all first impression. So I'm just going to open it up. Container that contains the powder and the brush, um, the kabuki brush. Oh my god, do you see this powder? Like, I love Dior. Like, you have no idea. Like, this is the first product that I have bought from Dior. And, I don't know. Like, their designs are wonderful anyways. So this is the Kabuki brush. Comes with their logo CD. And then, it seems it's very soft and whatnot. But, I can't really see myself using this brush for highlight and then my, I can see you can do like that but no thank you and then it comes with the Dior powder and to this oops and then it comes with a plastic container and let us swatch it So this is very light touch. So it doesn't seem to be too pigmented. So it's a gold, it's a gold sort of finish to it. On the bottom seems to come with a pouch. And there's a Christian Dior logo. Okay, so it's just like a pouch for the powder. Anyways, so let us do some reference of other highlighters that I have. So I wanted to do this image over my video with a voice recording only because I wanted to give a better reference of the swatches. So as you can see, they're not good comparisons only because none of them really match each other, but you can definitely see in terms of um, luminizing effect, um, the finish, and the color. Dior definitely is a gold champagne color that definitely has more of a luminizing effect, while Hourglass is definitely subtle, and Kevin Korn is sort of in the between. Um, so, yes, I hope this watch helps. So this is the lineup of highlighters that I have. This is Dior. This is Euphoric from Hourglass. And this is, um, this is Incandescent from Hourglass. And then this is, uh, Kevin Kwan Candlelight Powder. I'm gonna use Wayne Goss, uh, in the brush O2. And then I'm just gonna go this dark. I'll have to get it. I mean, you can't really see a difference only because my lighting is weird. And the camera's horrible. And I can definitely see a difference. It's definitely gold toned. Now I'm going to use the kabuki on the other side. I'm just gonna sort of. I mean, this deposits a good amount, I would say. But nothing phenomenal. And it does not feel very scratchy on my face, it feels very soft. So, my final thoughts of the Dior highlighter is 
I love it. It's a good shade, but I think what is holding me back a little bit from loving it even more is because I have three other highlighters. In terms of pricing, you are getting a good amount, and if you just consider the powder itself, technically compared to Hourglass, this is cheaper in terms of per ounce because you are paying $56 for 21 ounce and then you are paying for $38 for 0.16 ounce for the hourglass. So um, per ounces, again, this beats it. And if you add the kabuki, it beats it like a lot. This is not a cheap feeling kabuki. Um, it doesn't feel prickly on my skin when I'm like balancing it on. If you're looking for a gold tone highlighter, buy this. If you're looking for another kind of shade, I would not recommend this. But yeah, I will keep this. I would repurchase it if it was in another color. Um, but I don't know. My all-time favorite shade from Hourglass is Incandescent. I hope that this has helped. Um, if you have any other questions in terms of the Dior highlighter, comment down below um, and hopefully I can respond to it with whatever knowledge I have. Anyways, have a wonderful day.